Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be showing you what sushi is like in LA. Sushi in Japan is still fairly traditional. The sushi that is popular now, like nigiri sushi, was made in the Edo period and was popularized around the 1800s. The origins of sushi, however, can date back to the 1300s. Sushi in Los Angeles and the rest of the United States is actually pretty fusion. While you can find sushiya that serve traditional style sushi, it's a lot more popular to find a more Americanized fusion restaurant. Well, nigiri is very popular in Japan and you could still get nigiri here, it is quite popular in LA. The maki style sushi, which are the rolls, are usually the most popular. For those, they use a wide variety of sauces, western ingredients, and a lot, a lot of mayo. A lot of spicy mayo, which I personally love, and eel sauce. So today, I'm gonna be taking you along an LA sushi experience. I'm meeting up with my friend Reina and we're gonna go to Osen in Silver Lake, which is a combo sushiya and izakaya. While there are a number of sushi spots that just serve sushi and izakaya, which are like Japanese pubs that serve small plates, so we have places that are just izakaya, I feel like it is more common in the States to find restaurants that are actually a combo of both of them. Also, Osen's chef is Damon Mincho, and I don't think he's Japanese. Correct me if I'm wrong and he's mixed or something. And non-Japanese sushi chefs are actually quite common here in LA. However, many of the sushi chefs and owners have experience in Japanese cuisine, whether it's because they went and studied and worked in Japan to learn, or they've worked at Japanese establishments already. I'm basically sort of the worst Japanese person. I am not a sushi purist, and I absolutely love fusion sushi. So I'm actually super excited to try out Osen and share with you guys what it's like eating sushi in LA. All right, ikimashou. Made it to Silver Lake. Hi, Reina. And we are at Izakaya Osen. It's so cute in here. It's a lot like Japan. Yeah. Even the way they're seated and like the difference between the bar area and the tables. I'm still so stoked they're playing that at all. Yeah. Uh, she? <laughs> <laughs> they put in the tea for us. Nihomi dai. So apparently we have a ton of food coming out. So are we gonna try to eat it all? We're gonna eat it all. We have to. Yes. It's so good. The okoge is perfect. Mm. It's so good. There's so much flavor, like I was variety. Just say. Is it truffle? It almost tastes like it. I know there's a little bit it of yuzu. Truffle. Yeah, yuzu. It's a little citrusy, but it's barely there. It's barely there. It's amazing. It's yeah, like just enough good. to break up the oil in the salmon. Mm -hmm. It was That's amazing. Good. It was like a journey. Yeah. yeah. So far, everything has been really good. We're going to keep going. Okay, look at this gorgeous thing. This is halibut. And this is spinach. And there's flowers. I wasn't going to talk in this video, but I mean, everything is so pretty. I feel like I need to point it out. Moving on from the sushi to the zakaya portion. And now we are on to dessert. Ah. Don't know how to describe this cake. Have you ever had chewy cake? <laughs> Have you ever had a mochi cake hybrid? That's pretty much what it is. I really don't know how to describe it. It's chewy. It doesn't break apart that easily. It's like not gelatinous. It's too many things. <laughs> it's so good. And it completely changes the flavor when you eat it with the ice cream a la mode. That 
is our hardworking server, Steve. And I want to give him a shout out because he legit, oh, somebody's fun. So Steve legit is the best server. He anticipated all of our needs right away and was super great with giving recommendations and explaining everything we were eating and like literally some of the most fantastic service. It's a very, very Japanese service. Changing our plates when we changed courses, everything he did. Such a good job, so tell him he's cool when you come. Pretty good at decor time. At decor time, we only have like a minute. <laughs> Okay, so we finished our meal. I was extremely surprised at how good it was. Me too. <laughs> it was, I feel like it was a good mix of like really traditional Japanese style yeah. and also sort of Western style, mm -hmm. but everything tasted really Japanese. It was so Japanese. The flavors yeah. were really, um, they were very complicated and yeah. they were actually very subtle, but I think that's really what Japanese sushi really is. Having this kind of, this taste adventure where it kind of like starts up on a high and then kind of goes on this like different palate adventure, I think, yeah. is what happened. Matsu, do you have a favorite part? Um, let's see. I was thoroughly impressed by the uni. Um, because whenever I have uni in the States, it tastes very sweet. It almost tastes like it got soaked in some kind of like amazake or something like that to preserve it. And this one didn't taste like that whatsoever. It tasted just straight like uni. So that was kind of amazing for me. Um, the dessert was pretty... The dessert, I think, <laughs> did it for me. It was so interesting because the cake was almost not sweet at all. And it was very mochi-like. Mm -hmm. And But it's a cake. Yeah, it's, it's like a cake. Bread. Yeah. yeah, it's bready. It's yeah. sort of like... A dense mochi-ish banana bread. Yeah, I at first when I saw it, I thought it was like a matcha chiffon cake. Yeah, yeah. But it's so dense, and it really is like having mochi inside. Yeah. I don't know how that is. I don't know. It's how good. Is that? I've never had it before. Me neither. It's amazing. Yeah, it was really, it was really good. I want to like make it at home now. Yeah, and it paired so well with the ice cream. Also, the ice cream was nice and subtle too. Like it wasn't overly sweet or anything. So even though this dessert wasn't like super sugary, it felt very much like a dessert. Like it cinched the meal very well. Yeah. Loved it. And I was saying it like yeah. tastes so, like some exotic, because it has coconut in the cake. Yeah. So like exotic dessert at some like Thai cafe and yeah. like we'll shut it apart of yeah. Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it tastes and looks like that. You know, mm -hmm. it's very beautiful. Everything was really, really well presented. Yeah. Um, service was great. Yeah. The service was amazing, and that really made the meal for me. The fact that our server kept taking the side plate away because we had a different type of meal coming. Like at first, it was um, uh, appetizers with a, like half semi raw and like not raw. And then when it got to the raw part of the meal, he switched out all of our side plates. And then when it got to the cooked part of the meal, he switched out the plates again. That kind of attention to detail is so, so important. And it really made the meal because yeah honestly like our plates get pretty dirty yeah. after the second yeah. one so the fact that the servers care matters so much yeah I felt like it was overall like a good experience yeah and I think a lot of the times I feel like it, that's missing in the states especially at like sushi or izakaya type yeah. combo places it's like a real experience yeah, yeah. It, I really loved this experience it was yeah me yeah. too thanks for coming oh my gosh thank you so much yes. it was so much fun yeah so overall I know this was originally supposed to be a sushi in the states video that turned into wow this restaurant is amazing just amazing to the restaurant. <laughs> um, but yeah so this was a good experience of getting sushi in the states for sure uh, yeah so I'm gonna put all the info for the restaurant for Osan down below in the description I'm gonna also link to her channel down below and up here or which direction is it I'm actually not quite sure. I'm never sure. I'm never sure. sure. I always <laughs> point the wrong way. Yeah, me too. It's going to be over here. Maybe it'll be over here. Um, but yeah. All right. I will see you guys in my next video. Matane. Bye.